Hi, Tentoot here. I'm going to be making a tri-oval sphere and this time I'm using Zen magnets so let me show you how to make the subunit first. So you start out with a hexagon and you make a three layer and the three layer basically is your standard hexagon shape like this and what you do is you pinch the two ends like that together and you push the other two ends like that together this is actually my squash fold oval shape subunit that I've uh, shown in another video uh, what you do here is when you pinch those together uh, these edges actually will separate on both sides so you want it to be sort of spongy free like that then you take this side and you pinch those two corners together and you place it down on a surface like this and then you pinch these two toward the center here like this and what it does is it actually forms a oval shape here and this uh, oval shape could be used as a subunit for various uh, different shapes here uh, what I'm going to do is actually show you how to make the tri the tri-oval. So basically what you do is you make three of these oval shapes and then you basically adjust them such that the contact points started out like that and then you bring it over like this and then uh, there's a contact point here and here. Actually it's a uh, diamond shape that uh, these will meet up with here like that and then this will do the same thing here like that and finally you have this uh, diamond shape here and diamond shape here so you put this together like this and then it'll form a little gap here at the top so then you have to pinch this together so that it actually forms this tri-oval subunit and this tri-oval subunit actually could be done um, inversely from the one that I'm going to show you and it'll create an entirely different uh, cool shape. Okay, so here let me show you how to construct this thing here. So basically you're gonna make a half uh, half a dome shape basically using four of these tri-ovals. So to make the dome you connect them such like that and then you do the same thing here like that and then you do the same thing Oops. so now you have two sides here let me show you the other side here and it actually makes a really nice pattern um, if you can see this here so it's actually open with uh, some holes along the edging and Basically, in order to make the sphere, you place the two edges together. And there you have it. Pretty round, too. It's nice and solid. Alright, so there you are, tri-oval sphere. And this one's made out of Zen magnets again. You can get them at zenmagnets.com. Thanks for watching.